Three Americans helped stop a gunman from opening fire on a high-speed train in Europe. They say they relied on gut instinct and their bond of friendship. As Brian Webb reports, they held a joint news conference today to talk about the experience. Three Americans who tackled an armed gunman on a high-speed train in Belgium last week were reunited in Paris Sunday. U.S. Airman Spencer Stone, National Guardsman Alex Scarlatos, and their friend Anthony Sadler were hailed as heroes during a press conference. French officials say the Americans, along with two other passengers, risked their lives to disarm a gunman who French media reports in this photo to be Ayub El Kazani. A visibly injured Stone recalled the moment he sprang into action on the Amsterdam to Paris bound train. It looked like it was jammed or it wasn't working and he was trying to charge the weapon and Alec just hit me on the shoulder to say, let's go. Scarlato says his initial reaction was out of gut instinct. I feel our training mostly kicked in after this assailant was already subdued. Cell phone video shows the 26-year-old Moroccan man hogtied on the ground. Officials recovered an arsenal of weapons. Sadler believes there is a lesson to be learned from the ordeal. The gunman would have been successful if my friend Spencer had not gotten up in times of like terror like that to please do something. Don't just stand by and watch. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. The suspect is believed to be an Islamic extremist who spent time in Syria, but his lawyer says his, her client is a, not a terrorist. He was homeless and he was going to hold up passengers to get food.